Hey guys, welcome back. So as I said, I'm gonna do a road trip kit addition to my EDC kit that I did a video on. Make sure you check that out because I'm not gonna be going over those items in this one. This is strictly additions to going on a road trip. I consider a long road trip anything over three hours or more. That's up to you. Maybe you think two hours is a long road trip. I don't know. Adjust accordingly to how far you're driving. So first off, there's going to be two items that I'm actually showing right here. One is my bug out bag. I've done a video on that too, so make sure you check that out. Another one is gas. I don't have my gas can here. So keep that in mind. If you're gonna go on a long road trip and you have a way to haul an extra tank of gas, might wanna do that as well. One thing you should absolutely never, ever, ever do, and I've seen people do this, I saw people doing this when there was the gas shortage on the West Coast because of the pipeline hat, is people filling their five gallon tanks and putting it inside the car with them, in the cab of the vehicle with them. I don't care if you have a big SUV and you're putting it all the way in the back, it doesn't matter. You never put gas cans inside your vehicle. There's a number of reasons, I'm not gonna go through them. I would just like to think that it's common sense that you don't put gas inside the vehicle with you. That's stupid, <laughs> okay? So please don't do that for the safety of yourself and others around you. Gas is extremely volatile, especially if it gets hot. It, there's a lot of things that can go wrong, so just don't do it. Make sure if you're gonna be taking gas, you have a truck bed or a vehicle, like a lot of the Jeeps, they have attachments where you can have a jerry can on the back of that, that's fine. Never ever in your vehicle. Okay, I'm done preaching. Okay, so a few of these items I have on here, actually I do actually already have in my truck all the time, but I went ahead and added them to this kit because I think they are they play they can play an important part as well. Okay, so I'm gonna start going through all these things one by one here. First off again is extra water. I did mention that in my EDC video as well, but make sure you have enough water for yourself, everybody with you, at least a gallon per person per day, depending on, you know, if you're going for a really long road trip or that's all you're doing is just road tripping, you know, in the summertime, especially if you're going to be going through hot areas, desert, stuff like that. If you break down, you want to make sure you have enough water. Maybe even your radiator starts running low. You have water throwing your radiator in a pinch if you need to as well. So keep all those things in mind when you're doing long trips, especially in the summertime where it's very hot in some areas and going with that, you definitely want to have water because I like to pack a few of these in my trunk as well. They're very easy to make. It takes like just a couple few minutes. Make sure though, if you're doing um, the reason I'm bringing these is because I do have a small pot that I can boil water in. So if you're going to bring these, obviously make sure you have a way to boil the water. Other than that, you basically pour it in and you're good to go. Make sure you have something to eat it with as well. A long spoon. I'm not, I have one in my go bag. So, you know, make sure you have the proper stuff to actually prepare it and eat it. All right, so next up is just my jacket. I keep a jacket with me all the time. I don't care what time of year it is. I don't care how far I'm going. I always just have it in my truck. It's good practice, you never know, especially if you are traveling and if you are traveling through uh, a desert. Deserts get cold at night, believe it or not. <laughs> you know, even, at night, even during the summertime, they can get kind of chilly. So always nice to have some extra protection there. All right, and next up is just a little fire stove. This just breaks down in about six pieces, folds up real real thin in a little square, you know, packet. And again, another way to make fire, boil water, or just warm your hands up or keep warm if you want something in a controlled, somewhat of in a controlled area. You don't want a real big fire. Trying to maybe kind of lay low a little bit. Those are nice to have as well. And another good thing to have is some sort of water purification. I had this one just because it's I've had it for a long time. I've had it for several years. And yes, I know you can get a lot of different water filters now, much smaller, probably more a little user friendly. This one's pretty easy though. I mean, you just stick the hose on there, put it in the water, pump, water comes out here. Cations are a little bit more expensive. These ones run about 90 bucks right now. And obviously it takes up a little more space. So keep that in mind. But I like to have multiple ways to purify water. And this is another good way to do that. Again, make sure you have the space you may want to go this with a little Sawyer mini filter. Those are great too. They do a lot of gallons. This one does 530 gallons. So you're not getting quite the longevity with the filter as you would like the Sawyers that do are supposed to do like 100,000 gallons. But this one I think will do, I believe, two liters per minute. So it goes pretty fast, which is nice to have. 
All right, up next is just some sort of siphon. It doesn't have to be this type of siphon. Uh, siphon could be used for water or gas. Pick one. Obviously, you don't want to do gas and then do water. Okay, I think we all kind of can figure that one out. So, But you never know when you might need a siphon. Now, next up is some Dramamine. This specifically, if you're traveling with a lot of kids, kids tend to get car sick, this can always help. Make sure that you get the right kind of Dramamine because these are kind of age restrictive. So they do make Dramamine for kids and things like that. So make sure you get the right one, but good thing to have. All right, so next up is a gas mask. Now, some of you might be like, well, that's kind of overkill, don't you think? Well, this is an item that I keep in my truck all the time as well. Another one of my kind of survival gear things, but you never know, especially if you're traveling, if you're gonna be traveling in an area that is known for uh, wildfires, especially in the summertime, California, Oregon, Washington last year was just a disaster with the wildfires. So if you're going somewhere, suddenly you're on a road where there's a lot of smoke, you have to kind of get through it. You don't want to be reading all that smoke. Can't go wrong with a gas mask. This particular one, the filter with it will actually do some chemical as well. So, but anything's gonna be better in a fire to cover your face with than nothing. Keep that in mind, even a, a regular respirator. Hey, it's probably still gonna be better than nothing. Probably a little more cost effective. These ones are a little more expensive. This kind of, again, space is gonna come into play too. So this time depends on how much space you have for your gear. A lot of people give me shit about my Honda Ridgeline. I'm sorry, it has a ton of storage and it has much more concealable storage than pretty much most of the other trucks out there without getting a canopy or a tool, uh, toolbox for your bed or anything like that. All right, next up, just some binoculars. I'm a big fan of being able to look a little further when I need to, especially if you're in a big open area. You never know when you might wanna scout something out and just get that longer distance. So something I think everybody should carry just in general for regular practice is some sort of charging device, whether it be a power bank, or in this case, this is a solar bank. So you can charge the bank and then you can close it up. You got your USB ports here and you can use that as long as the battery lasts. Then when you're ready, you just simply unfold it again, charge it up. This has like a little loop where if you're backpacking too, you can kind of hook it to there and as you're walking, you can have that on your backpack and it's charging as you go. And next up is this, some toilet paper. You know, if you're gonna be stranded out somewhere for a long period of time, it's a nice convenience to have. So at least one roll, I would say. Now, since I have the extra space, I threw in an extra sterno for my small stove that I keep in my bug out bag. One of these will last actually quite a while with the burner that I'm using. It's a pretty, pretty small burner. And that's why I have these and I have my pot. I can easily cook these, boil water, do what I need to do to cook. And as I did mention before, sleeping bag, I do keep this in my truck. I've got, again, I got plenty of room to keep it there. You can get smaller ones, more compact ones, more that are a little bit more for geared towards survival, of course. Those, if you get the good ones, they're gonna be a little more spendy. You can kind of get the, you know, in the middle of the road ones too, but always a good idea to have some sort of sleeping bag, extra protection when you're out, especially if you get stranded. You can keep warm. All right, and last up is this going to be a tarp. Uh, tarps can be, this one's actually pretty big, but you can get a lot of different sizes. It doesn't have to be this big. I think this is like a, I don't know, 16 by 18 or something like that. It's a pretty good size, but you never know when you might need it. It's good for shelter. It's good for sheltering. If you're changing your tire, it's really rainy. You can set it up to where it at least covers you, tries to keep you a little bit more dry. A lot of applications for it. Always recommend having some sort of tarp. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for my road trip kit. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I left anything out. Again, I have plenty of gear. Some of this is just extra that I had in there. Some of it is specific for road trips, like the extra food, toilet paper, things like that. You never know, especially if you're going to be out there for a long time, you're going to an area you're not familiar with. You can't hurt. If you've got the room, some of this stuff obviously can be scaled down. They make smaller versions of most of this stuff. Some things are more important than others. It's up to you. It depends on where you're going, what kind of climate you're going to be in, and what you think you might need, and how many people you got with you. Keep all those things in mind. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, guys, and we'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.